Hello friends, this is Jana from the Milwaukee Letting Library here with another story to share with you. Now today I brought my friend Butterfly. Look at that, Butterfly has great big wings. We are going to do some stories about bugs. Do you like bugs? Do you? Do you have a favorite bug? Have you seen any bugs crawling around or flying around in the grass lately? They're starting to come out now that it's spring. I have a bug I really like. It's called a roly-poly bug. It's one of those little round bugs that rolls. Do you like those? We're gonna start with a song about the roly-poly bug. So you're gonna take your hands and roll them just like this. Roly-poly, roly-poly, up, 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 up. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, down, 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 down. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly, out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly, in, 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 in. One more time. Rolly poly, rolly poly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly roly poly, rolly roly poly, slow, 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 slow. Nice job. So I have a story for you today about a caterpillar, a bug that looks kind of like that or that and crawls on the ground. You might know this story. Does that look familiar? This book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, look at that caterpillar. This book is written and illustrated by Eric Carle. He wrote the words and he drew the pictures. It's published by Penguin Random House and we're reading it today with their permission except I'm not going to use the book. I'm going to tell the story right up here on the board. Are you ready? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and hungry little caterpillar. The next day, that caterpillar went looking for food. What do you think he found? This caterpillar found one juicy red apple. He ate that apple up. Look, he left a hole right where he chewed through. He was still hungry. And so the next day, Tuesday, he went looking for more food. And this time he found one, two juicy green pears. He ate those up. Oh, they were tasty but he was still hungry. What do you think he will find when he looks the next day? This time on Wednesday, he found one, two, three plums. They kind of look like blueberries, don't they? We're going to call them plums, juicy plums. Oh, he ate all three of them. One, two, three, three juicy plums. Oh, they were so tasty. But he was still hungry. So let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on Thursday, he looked for some more food. What do you think he will find today? This time, he found something red. Oh, what is that? Is that a strawberry? How many strawberries do you think he will find? One, two, three, four. 
four ripe red strawberries. Oh, they looked so delicious. Oh, he ate all four strawberries. Do you think that is enough food for that caterpillar? Absolutely not. He was still hungry. And so the next day he went looking again. The next day was Friday. And on Friday, he found something that was orange. Not red, but orange. Let's see here. Oh, there's one, two, can you help me count? Three, oh, four, five. Five bright orange oranges. Oh, yummy, oranges are so tasty. The caterpillar ate them up. One, two, three, four, five. Five juicy oranges. Do you think the caterpillar was done eating? No, the caterpillar was still hungry. Oh my goodness, what else do you think that caterpillar should eat? The next day, the caterpillar went looking for the Milwaukee Farmer's Market. Oh, that's a fun place to go. Look what that caterpillar found. Wow. The caterpillar found, hmm, I think that's a piece of cake and some ice cream and a pickle. Ooh, and a slice of cheese, a little bit of salami, a lollipop. What else do you see on that picture? Oh, that looks like a piece of cherry pie. Maybe a hot dog or a sausage. Oh, a cupcake, yum. Does anybody out there like cupcakes? The caterpillar did. And one last thing right there. What is that with those little black seeds? I think that might be a slice of watermelon. So our friend, the very hungry caterpillar, ate everything. Now, when the caterpillar was done, the caterpillar had a tummy ache. Oh, that was a lot of food. And so the caterpillar, the next day, ate one little green leaf to make his tummy feel better. And that worked, except the very little caterpillar was no longer a little caterpillar at all. After eating all that food, the very hungry caterpillar was now a very big, fat caterpillar and quite full. Finally, that was enough. The caterpillar was feeling a little bit sleepy too after eating all that food. And so the caterpillar wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped until the caterpillar was completely covered with a cocoon wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and then snuggled down in that cocoon and slept for two weeks. <sighs> two whole weeks until one Sunday morning, the sun came up and the caterpillar burst out, burst out of that cocoon, pop, with a great big pop. But now the caterpillar looked like this. Not a caterpillar at all. Who is that? Caterpillar had turned into a butterfly. That is the story called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So at our bug story time, we met a roly-poly bug, and we met a very hungry caterpillar who became what? A butterfly, that's right. We're gonna do one more bug song before we say goodbye today, and it's about a thousand-legged worm. Can you imagine having 1,000 legs? That's a really big number. This song is about a thousand-legged worm who's missing one leg. Uh-oh. Let's see. I think we're going to
clap our hands on our legs for this song. And then we'll clap in between verses. Are you ready? Said a thousand-legged worm as he gave a little squirm. Has anybody seen a leg of mine? If it can't be found, I'll just have to hop around on the other 999. Hop around, hop around on the other 999. If it can't be found, I'll just have to hop around on the other 999. We're gonna try that one more time. And if you would like to jump or hop, during this song, you are welcome to. Go ahead and stand up and you can jump along or if you want, you can hop on one foot. Here we go. Said a thousand-legged worm as he gave a little squirm. Has anybody seen a leg of mine? If it can't be found, I'll just have to hop around on the other 999. Hop around, hop around. On the other 999 if it can't be found I'll just have to hop around on the other 999 good thing he had 999 legs isn't it Phew. friends thank you so much for joining me at story time today it's always great to see you see you next time <laughs>